Today is our day to explore San Diego, and we've been here before, so we're gonna try not to do anything we've done in the past. And to do that, we're gonna use a new app called Trover. We'll see how it goes. I created a list of things people recommended to do in the area. Our first stop is from Paul, who says the Tin Fish Gas Lamp has the best fish tacos ever, period. We shall see, Paul. We shall see. The Gas Lamp Quarter is a historical neighborhood that's been redone and is more hip and trendy than ever. So I'm not gonna lie, it looks a little corporate. While it's definitely not corporate, it is a small local chain with pretty cheap eats. Looks promising, looks good. All right, Paul, I can't say they're the best tacos in the entire world, but I gotta give it to you because they are pretty darn tasty. And the waffle fries, rock. Our next stop is from Jesse. Late fall and winter are the optimum times for a visit to the tide pools at Cabrillo National Monument. So, it's almost winter, and tide pooling sounds awesome. We take a 25-minute scenic drive around the bay to the southern tip of the Point Loma Peninsula. This area is famous for being where the first Europeans set foot on the west coast. Pretty cool, right? So, this is why you come at a low tide, because you don't want to be here if it looks like this. And remember, safety third. No. Okay. Yay! A short hike north, and I mean a very short hike, leads to cliffs and beautiful views. But the real action is down by the water. Low tide's in 15 minutes and it's a negative 0.02 tide, which is supposed to be pretty good. Anything under zero, they say. Every little puddle is home to flowery anemones, hermit crabs, and crazy alien-looking sea snails. It's kind of reminiscent of an Easter egg hunt. I feel like I've learned a lot. I like that the rangers are here so you actually can find out what the heck you're looking at versus just like, oh look, there's a squishy thing. The hours slip on by, and the only indication of time is the coming of the tide. The old Point Loma lighthouse is just up the hill, and it looks pretty cool from the photo called the old Point Loma Lighthouse because, well, what originally seemed to be a good location way up here turned out to be not so great because of fog. This was one of the first lighthouses on the West Coast. Pretty cool. It's a well-preserved look into the past and an interesting self-guided exploration. But really, the swirling spiral staircase and the rooms steal the spotlight. How cool would it be to live here? Well, the tower's closed, but it's still pretty cool to see the lighthouse and the stairwell. Quite a view. One more stop. Sure, yeah. yeah. Beer? How do you know? Uh, I know. You don't know. <laughs> Know me. <laughs> the sunset looks amazing, but our next stop is calling. It's a lot of red lights. Yeah. Traffic's a bummer. <laughs> Five o'clock. On the back side of Lay Girl's nude bar and hidden in an unmarked warehouse is Modern Times Beer. They call this the Loma Land Fermentorium. We call it Crazy Awesome. Here, it's all about the details. 
The beer goes down nice and smooth, and it's okay to double fist it. So technically this place wasn't on the app, but it is now. Let an app tell you what to do. <laughs> <laughs> Very lovely, even Bob. This is great. <laughs>